My name is Chen Hong. My family name is Min, and I'm from South Korea. And I'm currently a business major. Yeah, nice to meet you guys. Hello, my name is Haley, and my Korean name is Hamin, and I'm majoring in international politics and Asian studies, and I'm from South Korea. Um, my name is Jojo, and I'm a marketing major, and my eyes a minor student, junior. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Jiaxuan. My English name is Connie, and I'm and I'm major in LHR, and I'm sophomore now. This is an exploration, right? I'm not the expert here. I'm just curious. Is there any truth in that, or is that just the urban legend? Dude, that's a really good question. First off, that's a great question. Actually, a lot of media in China is controlled by the government. So, basically, what they're showing you is what they want to want you to know. So, oh, so so there's like a mode that yeah. videos can be more suitable for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you huh. switch to a like teenager model. When you're on your phones, how much are you thinking about? The Chinese government watching, or someone observing, or reading what you're writing. How much do you think about that? There's something really surprised me、uh, in the United States, which is that you can't even put cameras under the president, the like the Instagram. But I have the the power to say what I want to say. Nobody cares. Say it all you want. Like they don't care. They win, dude. They win. Like you don't win. So like, why not just be like China then? Who cares? Uh, so this one's about TikTok and what you were talking about with the the government earlier. I know nothing about this really, but I heard this on a podcast, so this might not be reliable information. But they were saying that for the youth in the U.S., I don't believe this, by the way, but I know nothing about it. Yeah, that there,、yeah. it's kind of like brainwashing or not helping with like our children's socialization, and they're not doing as well with that. But then over in China, it's content locked, so that it's an educational tool. Yeah. For younger people, is there any truth in that, or is that just the urban legend? Dude, that's a really good question. First off, that's a great question. A, when we think about how TikTok is really bad for the socialization of our kids, which I find really curious, I I would agree that that in different ways that's true, and I think there are different ways in which, boy, if I were a parent. I'd be locking my kid down on what they were doing on the apps. Is TikTok locked down? Like, can anybody? Do you guys? Do you have any idea? Like, is it more? Do you feel like it's more educational, or is it the same kind of? I think it's、uh, pretty similar to the U.S.、Um, like, there are pros and cons for that.、Um, some message that you saw on that is controlled by. Government and actually, a lot of media in China is controlled by the government. So,、mm -hmm. basically, what they're showing you is what they want to want you to know. So, but 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 okay. But let me go back on this. Let me push back on that a little bit, okay? But you also don't get a lot of you don't get vulgarity, and you don't get a lot of stuff that's vulgar. And I mean, there are other things that you don't get, right? Yeah. So there are pros for that too. I think, like for the children nowadays in China, they got to absorb like the information from all over the place just by using TikToks, and it can definitely like、um, expand their point of view or perspective. So if you're like writing comments on, on a video or on something, and the comments are really vulgar, those, those could easily get taken down. Yeah. So okay, so that's not really. Unnecessarily a big problem. I think about some of the comments that people make about me on videos and stuff, and I'm like, I wish I had the power to take those down, you know. So, okay, so I don't know. That's a thought. Okay, yeah, go ahead.、Um, actually, there's a teenager model in a TikTok in Chinese. So if you like switch to a teenager model, like their son. Um, videos you will get maybe is more suitable for teenager or children. 
Yeah. Oh, so so there's like a mode that yeah. videos can be more suitable for yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah. If you huh. switch to a like teenager model. So mm-hmm. here you can try to, you can set some limits. Yeah, sure. On computers. Like, but um, mm-hmm. go ahead, go ahead. Like it's not in computer. Maybe like the the kids' parents. Maybe they will um, they will limit the the video. They can. Um, they can design on on the kids' phone. Uh huh. Got yeah. it. But if the kids are really smart, they're gonna figure out. Uh, how yeah, they... maybe they can do no, it. It's not difficult for kids to be smarter than their parents on these um, things. Yeah, yeah, right? that's true. Mm-hmm. When you're on your phones, how much are you thinking about the Chinese government watching or someone observing or reading what you're writing? How much do you think about that? Personally, I don't worry about that much. Uh huh. Um, yeah, it's just. What do you mean you don't worry about it? I feel like it's because I didn't did anything bad on the internet. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not worried about any anyone catching me or, like, yeah. Like you don't need to say things that are really vulgar or against the government or whatever. Yeah, I don't like put comments on the internet. Yeah, yeah. Listen, Ameri- Americans who really have this idea that you you love your free speech and you, Korea. It's, we're going to talk about Korea in a second. Americans who really love their free speech and they want to be able to say anything they want to say, so they can say something about Biden or Trump or me or the president of Penn State or whatever they want to say. It doesn't really matter. But like. You're just speaking into the wind anyway. Like, what's the point? Like, who cares what you have to think? I mean, I just uh, talk that with my friends. I won't talk that on the internet. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like it's, I don't know why I would talk to people I don't know. Yeah, that you don't know. Like, why you would say that anyway? Yeah. As I'm watching, this is from 18 columns, comments, like, scroll up. How about, how about you? Do you think about that when you're making comments or... Well, there's something really surprising me uh, in the United States, which is that you can even put comments under the president, the like the Instagram. Yeah. It's really wow. It's yeah, really surprising me a lot. Yeah, but you have to. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I can't just imagine that. How can I put? How dear can I put comments under president? Yeah. Or yeah. especially something bad. Yeah. 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 Why would you really want to anyway? Because they don't care. Dude, Americans. Can, here, let me just say this. No one cares what you think. You might want to have the, like the, bro, am I right here? Am I right? They don't care. Like, they, like, they, like, they, you might want to, but I have the, the power to say what I want to say. Nobody cares. Say it all you want. Like, they don't care. They win, dude. They win. Like, you don't win. So, like, why not just be like China then? Who cares? What's wrong? Do you guys think about that? Like, how is censorship in, in Korea? I feel like Koreans, let me just say this, actually. You guys are, remember the last class I was talking, like, you guys are all, like, so polite anyway. Do you, do you get into, like, arguments on, on Korean social media platforms with people? I saw a lot of people arguing on social media. Like, for example, YouTube comments or news comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they argue about their belief or yeah. political belief or their idea, but it always gets aggressive. It does get aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. No, I'm kind of making a joke about, I mean, you are very polite, but, um, yeah. but the politeness ends on the comments, right? I see that. Yeah. Do you think about censorship at all in Korea? Um, there is some kind of censorship related to like harmful contents or like porns or something like that. Yeah. But um, mostly in common situation, there's no censorship. Yeah? yeah, so you can go. Haley, do you think about when you're, making, when you're on social media and you're making comments and stuff, are you thinking about, how much are you thinking about what other people are reading and 
Um, I think that like people were gonna look through the comments, so I never comment on any videos. So you're thinking, yeah. About when, like, you're very. Koreans are very focused on what other people are thinking. Hmm. So when you, you, you remember we had that conversation in class? So when you're making comments on your phone, mm -hmm. you must be thinking about what every other Korean is going to think about the comment that you make. Right, right, right. But um, I think that's kind of like, I don't know, like, I don't want to say this, but East Asian people thing, because we care about like a lot, like how other people were going to see me. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why, like, do you remember you said like about the COVID stuff? Yeah. Like why people wearing the mask? Yeah. That's like because you said like Koreans are like caring about like the community, not yeah. just by themselves. But that's the, um, the evidence of that, like we are caring other people's like, you know, views. Mm -hmm. So we don't want it to get like kind of um, just like, you know, different with others like, in the community. Like really engage at that level. Right. Are you, are you guys like that? You're like that. You know, Chinese are very similar in that way. Um, so one of the things I wanted to ask was, uh, so you guys have mentioned that there's not, not much of a censorship in Korea, and you guys have mentioned that there are uh, some, some censorship in China. But a I wanted to amount, ask, bro, yeah, actually. a fair amount, but I wanted to ask um, how significant is the societal censorship as in you are aware of other people's response of what so whatever you're posting you're aware of like what how other people are going to respond to you so you censor yourself knowingly and kind of and semi-forcefully as a result um because like in america for example we have twitter it's the wild west over there yeah, we, yeah. we we literally say whatever the hell we want and we get hate, we get love. It doesn't matter. Just it's we all just the same, we just actually. we just put it out there. Yeah. But I I'm wondering if it's much if it's any different from uh, Korea and China uh, in terms of like do they just spill it out because it's social media or do they like pull it back more than or at least more than we do? Yeah. Like, are you guys really? How much are you really focused on? Like, do you like just getting followers and just saying stuff that's gonna provoke and get you more attention? Yeah, is in his on social media, right? And is it, is negative th attention the same as positive attention? Because here, I feel like it doesn't matter. Attention is attention in the West, right? But that wouldn't be true for you. Like negative attention is not good attention. Um, I can't define if this is positive or negative. Like, because people are very subjective, so. Yeah. Um, people who, who is attracted, like being attracted to some kind of contents, like they're attracted because they have those kind of um, idea like that they can emphasize. So a lot of people have different thinking. Some people might think that's negative, but some people might think mm -hmm. it's true. Mm -hmm. So um, some people might agree with like one's saying, while some other will not. So mm. I think it's hard to define which is negative and positive. Mm. Hey, so I have, a, I have a question following from what you just said. So in Korea, one thing that happens often is people really gang up on folks a lot. Like, so a lot, like there's just like, boom. Does that happen in China? People like gang up and really attack people like in, or do the censors stop that from happening? Do censors stop people from really? Uh, it depends on what topic they're talking about. So um, if it's a topic that's pro-government, they yeah. let them attack? Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. so yeah, it depends. So, so really, um, huh. yeah. Huh, all right, man. Does anyone else, anyone else have a question? Bro, you have a question? Um, you were kind of getting at it a little bit earlier. Um, some people will say there's kind of like an epidemic of social media, especially among younger children. Um, and I think it's kind of plays in the part that kids aren't really emotionally mature enough. Yeah. I mean, we're not even mature until we get over the age of 20 and it's still past that. Dude, I'm just reaching my mature level. Right. <laughs> um, is there the same sort of sentiment from like parents to their children, especially when they're younger, um, to try to get them off social media? Because you can have like literal 12-year-olds getting attacked 
over saying something. So was there that sort of same sentiment from parents' yeah. kids? Oh, this is a good question. Like, what's the youngest age? When were you allowed to really be on social media? Like, at what age? Um, when I was, like, elementary school students, like, around, like, 11 or 12, they gave me, like, phone, smartphone. But at that timing, we don't have that much, like, access to the smartphone. So I was used to Kakao Story that time, but, ah. which is not popularly using right now. So Now it's popular. No, it's not. It's not? The Kakao Story not? one is, like, not. Oh, no one not, using. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it just went out of favor. Yeah. Oh, my God. Because we, right. we use Instagram instead. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Instagram. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> Okay, so you, when you were in elementary school, you start, you were on. And did you have free range of the whole internet? That's um, not really, because my parents doesn't want me to like on the phone every day. So Got they it. were gonna limit the time. So my phone gonna shut down like after like, you know, specific time enrichment, that yeah, like my it. phone gonna shut down. All right, huh. Last question and then we're out of here. Oh, huh. question. Oh, dude, all right, put it up really fast. Let me just see. Last question, and then we're out of here, y'all. Does cancel culture exist in China? It exists in Korea. Does cancel culture exist in China? Yeah, it does. Yeah? Definitely exists in Korea. 